All right. Well, we're at the trade deadline here. And uh, a lot of people have some strong opinions about what we should do with Grumet Morris. Some people saying drop him to the third line, bring up Spruyev. Does give us plus five, plus five. And uh, Grumet Morris can play with Byfield Vitacek. Maybe he succeeds a bit more there. Some people saying they want, you know, McIntosh up somewhere. Here's the problem with that. McIntosh provides nothing to this third line. So I'm not a huge fan of doing that. Spruya being up on that second line, sure. Um, trading someone, like trading Grumet Morris for someone, it could work. Here's the thing, though. It's pro the way we're set up, it kind of has to be a sniper. Or I go for a two way forward and hope that he provides defense with more better defense on the second line with similar production. That's the only way I'm trading. And I I know some people may disagree that I should just trade his ass anyway because of the contract and all the other stuff, but blah, blah, blah. But sniper wise, there's really. We kind of looked. The only one better that is in that situation would be Rotten. And you can't play him third line. If if I'm going to. I wanted the flexibility, right? Someone like DeBrus could go either or, but he's not very good. He's not really a goal scorer. You can go for Holtz, who's a couple years at 87. You know, maybe he works out. He's got 44 points, and he has points on the power play. So he's even producing at a, at a slower rate than Grimmett Morris was. 20, oh, no, he has 29. He would have 39 if he got, like, 10 power play points, which is about the average of the team, slightly below it. Um... I'll show you what I'm talking about. Someone kind of brought this up that maybe if Grumman Morris had the power play time, you know, give him like 10 extra points. He He's better off. He looks better off. Like, so we say he has 39. In the grand scheme of things, he does look better. But he still might not even hit 50 points, which on that second line with no power play time, he should hit 50 points minimum. There's also Prince, who was another guy we were looking at at one point, who has legit like the same, almost the same, uh, Cole Caulfield, three years, but he's got very, very similar production. Doesn't fit into the scheme. Fabian Lazelle. There's Besser, two years left on this price tag. Wallstrom, no X factors. Good price tag on Wallstrom, though. That's that's the that's the thing about Wallstrom. He has a very good price tag. Doesn't necessarily have to be a rental. And I kind of wanted someone with flexibility to play either third or second line, kind of like what Grumet Morris sort of has. There's also Gunther. Low awareness. I don't like that. So, I mean, there's... Isaac isn't bad. He's getting a lot of points. Where is he playing? First line power play too. Yeah. He's going to get a lot of points. And actually, probably he's going to have stack growth, which how could we maintain that? So, I don't know. Guryanov's decent, but again, we... So, here's what I want to look for also. A two-way forward. Maybe there's a two-way forward who could play between those two roles, either in, in the third line or in the second line, and just provide more defense while providing production. Might be a bit of a tall tall order. Reed, 87.25, three years at that price tag. It's got 39 points with power play, so it's kind of similar to what's on the table right now, plus two. What is this? He's got, okay, the shot blocking thing, backskating, who cares? Backhander, stick him up. Nah, it's okay. He's all right. Le I still can't believe LeBanc is a two way forward. Come on, game. Farabee, on the older side of things, fits into the first line guaranteed. Who knows what he does? He does get some goals. Not that we need him for first line. But I don't know what that means for the rest of his production. That's 48 points. So essentially he's got 38 without power play time, which is very good. He doesn't have any X factors or anything. 
Valeno. Nope. It's kind of more difficult to find guys with all that. There's this guy who's extended to that much. That's just kind of a lot. He might grow a lot more as well. Odell, three years at six mil. 20 goal scorer, so he's got 38 points with very, very limited power play. Playing third line in penalty kill. It says he fits into our top six lines and fit on the power play. Not that we play him on the power play, but he fits there. He's got, he's, wow, he's actually really, really good. He could play middle. He could play wing. He could do a little bit of everything. He's great defensively. No X factors, which does kind of suck. But he's pretty good. Drafted 10th overall. So you might, it might be harder to find the X-Factors. And the X-Factors are good for chemistries, which is why I'm, why I'm looking for them. So we can see how it works and see what works better and try it out. I'm a little nervous because the team seems to be performing so well. But yeah, Grumet Morris has a letdown. My only worry is we move him and it disrupts, you know, it's for some reason the team just sims worse or something. I, I don't know. That's that's my biggest fear. I really kind of like Odell. He's seeming to be able to get the job done. I just, I don't know. Is that, is it going to be the fix? Anthony Neal. X factors and good contract. But listen, his first line, it'd be very, very hard to play him down. It kind of has to be in that, in that sweet spot. And there's, Hard to get in that sweet spot. So yeah, I don't know. Reed could play middle. He, said he does fit in the top six. He does have X factors, even though a couple of them I'm not huge fans of. At least he has them. It could be a good shot block too. So I mean, really, he should should really help out. On the defensive side of things. So, yeah, he has that same sort of thing. I don't know. Could. Could we try? That's going to be tough. They're listed as a buyer. They want Groom at Morris, but they're not going to want to give up the dude. And he's got actually more value. So, we'd still have to add to this, which we do not have a lot to add. Could add in Grossman. Yet another sniper. Or we can go back for our old plan and go for Rottenen. Throw him on the second line with no power play. Hope he does better just than Grimmett Morris. Like, ah... We were going to do that and then say Grossman could come in to replace Spruyev and Spruyev could hop up to the second line in place of Grumet Morris. And... So that's the, I don't think, I don't think we're going to get this guy. Uh, it's going to cost way, way too much for a deadline trade. So God damn it. <laughs> it was a decent idea going forward to a, honestly, the best, the best option here. I'll kind of try to meet in the middle. A veteran, but also, you know, actually making the trade a sniper. They're listed as a seller, but they don't want to give up Rottenen. Very interesting. That means they're not going to want Grimmett Morris. Son of a bitch. Why? That's, that makes no sense. You're selling, but you're not wanting to get rid of the guy in the one-year deal. Holy shit, man. Why? They don't even want the low elites. They want these guys. 66 at 21. Can throw him in. 
Okay, actually, we get really close. Okay, so they it's not that they're completely unwilling. It's that. Okay. So if we throw we threw an A prospect that gets close. Yeah, yeah, he's a grinder, blah, blah, blah. But he's 21 and 66. I don't care about top six. 1952. OFD. Maybe. But I don't need, but probably don't need that much value. Do I have any? 63 at 20. Yeah, at this point, I'm all just kind of giving up everything. That should work. We get rid of the contract. We have Rontanen. It will be under, we'll be under cap. And this, uh, it, it'll make it harder for to put Spruyev up. Rotten will have to be on that second line. Which, hit or miss if he actually uh, it works there. But, theoretically, we can't do any worse, right? And yeah, he did not really a goal scorer. But he's got points without major power play time. Or their power play just sucks. Either way, he's got points. He's on the top power play in the top line, yeah. Okay, so he's got points because he's on the top line. All right, well. Oh, what? So that didn't work. Okay, let's go a bit higher. I don't want to give up too much. I know we could add to that, but I bet I don't have to. I bet I don't have to. I bet I just have to go up a bit and do one of these guys instead. 66, 21. Yeah, probably at this point. Yemelin. What was this guy? Sniper. Maybe give him up instead of love, but. Did we just draft the Susan guy? I feel like we did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's in the fifth round. I think he started at 47. So Knight can go. Technically, love could go too. Yeah, let's throw let's throw love in there. That should do it. This should do it for Rotten. Shipping out Groomit Morris. Hate to trade within your division. Watch, Grumman Morris is going to fucking tear it up now. I know it because he's, he's just going to get a better opportunity. And we got him to a good contract. But for us, it's about what? For us, it's about winning. What the hell? How did it go backwards? Legit, it just went back. All right, if I throw in Zuzan, this will go through. I didn't want to yet, but this is 100% going to go through. There you go. All right. The deed is done. Now we vastly, vastly improve, well, theoretically improve upon this. It still gives us plus three. But we vastly improve upon what the team looks like. It does give us, oh my god, if we actually shift Tootin and Rontanen, we get a lot more. Fuck me, I'm actually considering doing that. Simply because Tootin's not tearing it up goal scoring wise up here. Although, to be fair, neither is... Hmm, I'm kind of wondering if it's better to do... I don't know. Because Lang last year got a ton of goals. I was kind of wondering if he had Rotten in up here instead. Does he do better? I mean... I do kind of... It would help to keep him happy. By field, who do I want? Maybe Spruyev? Nah, let's put him rotten in. We gotta go all in. Okay. I think I'm actually gonna do this. Try this out. It might not work. It gives us plus five, plus five. Again, we can always mix stuff up. But I kind of want him up there to see if we could spring Lang into being more of a goal scorer. Like, we know he can be. Although he only had that like one year where he did that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. We can always switch it back. But I want to try this out. Yeah. We'll leave Spruyev down. Makatosh stays. I'm probably. Honestly, I think I want to keep Makatosh as my 4C. Probably like long, long term. It's not that much. He's got fine chemistry. He locks it down. He's on a terrific contract. 2.1, man. Like by this point, that's a good fourth line deal. Plus, he's getting power play time. I want to keep him as my 4C. <clears throat> So, Tootin, I don't know, maybe this works. We'll see. Anyway, the deed is done. 
Uh, I can check to see if there's any more moves I want to make for picks or something like that. No, we got nine. We got we got we got max, man. We're all we're all set. Okay. So that's it. That's the trade deadline. All taken care of. So we're going with a pure rental. And theoretically, Spruyev can move up, and then that next guy could move up to his spot in the third line. That's the idea. Um gonna check on contracts, but I don't think we had. Rotten in doesn't want to come. That's fine. We'll probably only use we're likely, like I said, only use him as a rental. Falk. Oh yeah, also Falk as our oh shit, he's listed as depth now. Or sorry, not listed as depth anymore. This is third. Uh oh. Well, I'll get him to that at least for a year. That's safe. That's nice. <clears throat> Rivers doesn't want to come back. Legacy. We haven't had to use him, but he's exactly where he's gonna be. So let's give him that, and that should be all good. All right. That should do it. So 43, 13, and 4. Let's see how we do after uh, this trade was made. The end of the season. Keep block. Continue simming. See if any trades are made. Uh, Strom with a second and a third goes to the Islanders for LeBlanc. He must be very good to Chicago. Uh, McAvoy in a sixth to Nashville for a first. Webster a second and Brassois. Wow. Uh, Ian Mitchell's on waivers. Don't need. Uh, Falk extended. Legacy extended. Good. All right, we won an OT. 1-6-4. 1-6-5. <laughs> I mean, we're still winning. Albeit, again, skipping all the scouting. Albeit allowing some goals. God damn. But we're still winning for the most part. So that's what's important. In fact, I would argue we're probably winning more. Oh, lad. Oh, no. Lad's done. 29th of May. He's done. There goes our playmaker on the fourth line. Done like dinner. That sucks. We got Falk, who's another sniper, but that's it. Done like dinner. We're going to throw in Falk. Yeah, nope, chemistry. That sucks. Do I have a... I don't think I have another option. That sucks. That really, really sucks. I uh, He was doing so good. God, he was doing so good. So I have a plus five at least on power play. That really sucks. Uh, I don't think I have anyone who can... Marsh is a grinder. Grossman is a sniper. Solzer is a sniper. Yeah, that was our... Big playmaking guy. Nope, we, yeah, we don't have an option. And we know McLennan is a snake. God damn, I have a lot of snipers. That sucks, man. God damn it. It was all going so well. Nope, all right, we're gonna, gotta roll with this, I guess. Son of a bitch. Post-concussion syndrome until May 29th. Well, we're freaking winning games, man. So safe to say either the trade didn't hurt us or it helped us. <laughs> uh, okay, that was a minor bullcrap. Come on. There we go. We got 60. Okay. I'm... Where the hell are you? Oh, he's fine. Fully healed. Yeah. Wow, two shutouts at the end. 62, 16, and 4 to end the year. Yeah, I'd say the trade definitely helped. All right, we're facing Chicago in the first round. Wow. Yep, I would definitely say uh, that helped. Kovacs had 103 points. 128-point season. 388, 266. Beautiful. Still high 20s for the power play. Still mid to high, man. Yeah, I'd say mid mid eighties for the PK. Finally allowed some shorties, six shorties for. We should that should be presidents, man. Oh yeah, presidents by seven points. Offense, top offense in the NHL. Defense not gonna be the top. Oof, barely in the top five actually, but still a good defense. Power play, top power play, penalty kill. 
third best penalty kill. We're we're amongst the elites in every single category. We're top five in everything, top three and more, even more. And we have the best offense, which we'll need. Let's see. Yeah, Lang jumped up in goal production, man. Jumped the fuck up. His ratio was so much different. I knew, I, th I figured kind of putting Rotten in there would help him just get more goals. Um, Tootin still had good production. In fact, didn't really look like he missed much of a step at all. Maybe a couple less points than he could have got, but hey. 103 for Kovacs. 94 for Lang with 43 goals. Ran in at 73 points. What did he get? So yeah, he was point per game here. And under point per game in LA. I'd say it worked. Tootin, 72 points, 30 goals. Lambert was 67 points. Lawrence was 66 points, 29 goals. Um, Byfield, Mr. Third Liner, was 61 points. Even if you subtract his power play production, he has 51 points on the third line. Absolute gem. Huge, huge, huge trade. 59 points for Spruyev with 25 goals. Vitashek with 50. No power play time. Vitacek is a goddamn gem. He's a goddamn hero on this team. He's so sick. So sick, man. McIntosh, 45 points with power play. 20 goal score. Ladd, unfortunately injured. Would have hit 40, maybe 45 points. Ah, probably 15 goals. Maybe 30 assists. God damn it. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. And Huxley kind of existed. But that's okay. He was a plus player. Speaking of plus minuses, look what happened. Our pluses and minuses got a lot better. A lot better. Lambert's the only minus left. Everyone trended in the right direction there. Unfortunately, Falk's a minus in 11 games with only two points. Uh, I don't like that. Oops. Legacy kind of dropped off in production, but who the heck cares? 59 points. 24. You already got an Norris. I don't care. He almost had 60. He's, it's fine. It's, honestly, it's fine. All the plus minuses are good. Again, we don't need a guy to steal the show every time. And he did He did just fine. He's a very, very serviceable defenseman. Not going to take penalties. It's a great plus. Chuck on how are because they're DFDs, and that's what they do. They just take penalties. Um, okay, Gorodov, not bad. He, still, he hung around the 9-10 mark. 273 again it's not amazing but if you can turn it on for the playoffs then it, it, it's it, it's good Wallstead, what a tremendous job what an absolute stud of a backup 22 points in 16 games played with those numbers and he got a shutout he was yeah he got one of those shutouts at the end 100 this is again the best the teams looked we said that last year we're gonna say it again this is the best the teams looked 100 we gotta capitalize on this Dreisaitl, though, 114 points. Matthews, 111. Kovacs was, was third. He beat out McDavid. Probably led in assists, too. Let's see. Led in goals. Matthews was 70. Good Lord. He's He's got to break that over record, right? Let's just see. He's at 758 at age 33. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Here's the thing, though. He didn't have, like, the crazy... He didn't have the OV beginning to the career. Right? But he's got to hopefully have the OV end to the career. <laughs> That's what he's looking at. And it's Jesus. He's making a run for it. I know there's a record book somewhere that we could check. Anyway, crazy. Uh, assist leader. Uh, definitely Kovacs with 75. Let's go. Game winners. Yeah, Matthews. That makes sense. Eichel or Kovacs. One of the two. They're, they're both pretty clutch. It's, I, that's very, very similar with the math thing, too. I'm not going to bother checking. Power play goal leader was McDavid with 18. Power play point totals. Eichel with 30 in Philly. Goddamn Philly. Shorty is four for Reed. The guy who we were almost going to try to trade for, but good luck. Eight short handed points for Odell. Another guy we're looking at. Those two ways. All right. And let's see. Uh, Patterson is looking like a front runner right now. Matthews in in there. Wow, what's going on? Upshaw. There's really not any standouts. Yeah, there's really not any standouts. Lundell's got to be considered. Okay, maybe even for Fetty a bit, even though he's lacking on the win. Sillinger, kinda. Wow, I have no clue who that's gonna go to. That's a complete toss up. Rasmus Sandin, 80 points plus 37. Gonna be your Norris winner. Sorry, Kale. 
It's Rasmus Sandine season, apparently. Good lord. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. That's all I gotta say about that. Um... Oh, you love to see it, but more importantly, you hate to see it. Oh my gosh. Of course, of course, man. You know what? Again, doesn't matter the regular season. It matters in the playoffs, right? Matters what happens in the playoffs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you got eliminated, but Jesus. Wait. How do you only play six games... Oh, that was... But still, how do you only play six games with three one-and-one one record and then not anymore after that? What? He, he must have got injured or something. You know, like, he's been... He's been pretty fucking good in the playoffs. I ain't gonna lie. Jesus, man. Yeah, he was... <laughs> All right. I guess we could have gone either way. To be fair, Kai, Kai Gordov has done very good in the playoffs, too. Except for the Stanley Cup last season. Hopefully, it improves upon that. But yeah, Bob Larson. <laughs> Above and beyond. Better than everyone else. Awesome. Well, we sure draft them good, don't we? Shame on me for thinking X Factors mattered. Uh, pardon me. It's not. It's not. It's not Tootin. That's Bell. All right. Um, something Bell. What's going on? It's glitched. It's saying Tootin's right here. Anyway, Spriev was second. In the uh, Calder Rice Bell with 40 points, man, in Columbus. Is this, I, I think this is Tootin's stats, though, too. Yeah, this is 100% Tootin's actual stats. Okay. Anyway, bye. Let's see if there's any rookie goaltenders worth mentioning. Webster. You know what? Webster did very, very good. But I don't think that's enough to beat that 60 or whatever points. Very, very good from Webster, though, man. Honestly, he should be considered. But at 24... You're not, I don't know what freaking, I don't know what this guy, what, what Bell is. He was drafted fourth overall in 25. Holy shit. Actually, I, you know what? I want, wait, no, no, no. That's my, I can't check. Yeah, that's right. 66 points. Anyway, fuck it. What a, oh, I missed the fun stats. Will you guys forgive me? Or will I, I have to check. I guess I have to check. I mentioned it. If I would have shut my mouth. Hits. No one hit 200. Rip. Hoglander had 195. Okay. Fights. Good God. Two-way. Grinder. Good Lord. Look at all the fights here, man. Jeez. Eichel with five fights. I saw that. Good on you, Eichel. <laughs> okay. Playoff time is here. And the playoff tree... Is right there. Ooh, the battle for Alberta. That's going to be nice to see in the East. Any major rivalries? Eh, maybe Leafs Lightning? Kind of? Sort of? Philly? I don't know. Some good matchups nonetheless. Fucking Philly. They better get knocked down. I don't want to face their ass again. So us versus Chicago. First round. What do they got? LeBlanc, Doc, Nylander, Robertson, LaPierre, Debrinkit, Kirvin, and Mc... McGinn, uh, LaFetiere, Backer, Anderson, yeah, it's not great. The bottom six isn't great. Oh, my God. Look, what the hell is that? Seriously, game? They got Sam Sonoff, who did terribly last year in the playoffs. Good God, they have no depth. We should, we should stomp these guys' yard, which means good luck. But, I mean, holy shit, if we can't, if we don't just blow these guys out of the fucking water, what's wrong with this game? Seriously, if we don't blow these guys out of the water, what is wrong with this game? Time to get going. Yeah, Kai Gordov fucking ended. Yeah, that, that last series absolutely tanked his stats. 907. All right. Let's see. Game one. Six to three win. Good offense. Need to tighten up that defense a bit. Game two. Five to three win. Okay. Big wins on the road now for game three. 4 0 shutout. There you go. There's where Kai Gordas shows up, and we have a chance to complete the sweep, and we don't lose an OT 3-2. to two. Damn. Back on home ice for game five. We win an OT 5-4. Okay, so a bit back and forth from Kai Gordov there. 
But the team in front of them performed exceptionally well. And that's what matters. We win that series in five. Now we face Edmonton in the second round, who also won their series in five. Kovacs led the way with nine points. Yeah, I think having him on that top line is going to be a boon. He just seemed to be the guy to get that job done in the playoffs. So 4.4, 2.6, absolutely. Decent power play. We're going to have 18 penalty. Oh, we had less than 18. But great, good, good power play and great penalty kill. It's looking good. The ratio is good after one series. Nine points for Kovacs, seven for Lang, Lawrence, Tootin, Ronton, and Lambert. All point per game. Vitacek, McIntosh, Falk. Even, okay, Falk stepping up. Good for you. And solid per No one has less than three points. Holy shit. You guys might have been right about all scoring lines. Holy shit. Legacy. <laughs> no one else has points on the back end besides Legacy. What? Uh, Bellamy at home struggling a bit, but that's okay. Uh, Kai Gordov doing fine. Whilst they got credit with the OT loss. Huh. That almost looks like he played a full game. Maybe Kai Gordov got yanked. I don't know, actually. But he got four wins. Yeah, weird. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway. Good to go on Wallstead. We know when if he ever gets called upon, he'll do his job. All right. Edmonton. This is this is gonna get dicey. Dreisidel and McDavid. They're on the same line now with Mizek. Ooh, they don't have much after that. Hicketts, Prota, they're loading up Pugliarvi, Wilcott. Yeah, no, they don't have much after that. Their depth is kind of non-existent. Their defensive core is kind of non-existent. Nurse is already uh, heavily declining. What? And Corpusalo is cheesing. Fuck this game, dude. Seriously, fuck this game. They have a 50-plus win season with a 78 goaltender. I swear to God, if, if he... Shuts us down with that defensive core. Let's go, Seattle. Game one. We got this. Fuck these guys. Air Camps is injured. Least of our worries right now. Don't care about the minuses. 4-2 to two win in game one. That's big. Good, good, solid performance all around. Good offense, good defense. Game two. 5-1 to one loss. Okay. Game three on the road. 4-2 to two win. I like it. Let's, let's get that stranglehold. Let's take it on their ice. Air Camps is back. Throw him in there. Ugh, we gotta win that game. We come on, Kai Gordov. We gotta win that game. I know it's Edmonton, but ugh, too many goals allowed. Tied series, pivotal game five on home ice. We win six two, big one. All right, game six. I don't want to see a game seven. Come on, guys. Come on, Seattle. There we go, a four to three victory to advance. I didn't see what in, what the injury was. Come on, really? I'm gonna throw Rivers in there for now, but yeah, I might not be in there long, long term. Mister Enforcer, hold on, hold on. I gotta check what that injury is. Ah, shit! I shoulda. Fuck. Hopefully, it's not super long term. Don't care. Come on, do the evaluation. Let me at least get an idea. Let me get up to game one here. Shit, dude. Tootin now leading in points on that second line, by the way. What? Where the fuck is it? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I miss it. Um, Sore foot returning. May what the fuck? A sore foot? And he's returning May 24th. Holy shit. What day is it? We're still in April, aren't we? Good lord. We're fucked. No, no, no. We're in May. We're in May. Never mind. Okay, yeah. I. So, the other dude should actually come back, too. Yeah, he should come back. Well, kind of in the next... No, oh, dude. Oh, shit. Um, okay. Well, I got I to gotta make a little bit of moves here. Got to make some moves here. Um... What's it look like with Huxley up there? Plus three, yeah. I mean, I gotta have to. I got. I gotta put some kind of power forward up there. I could just go with Rivers. Like, yeah, I could. But he he just might take a shit ton of penalties. Or what's Huxley done? Five point two. He's doing good. All right. You know what? I'll do this. 
Huxley up there. Put Huxley in here. And three on three won't matter. Okay. That's really it. So I'll remember that. Huxley, welcome to the first line. It's a plus three still, so he should be fine. He'll be at an 85 overall. Should boost him up. Hopefully he does well. That's a rough injury though, man. That's a rough one. We're going through it. It's uh, it's really throwing the uh, adversity at us. Connor, Dubois, Ehlers, Antetokounmpo, Pelletier, Sprong, Sarich, Kupari, Williams, Greenway, Foot, Gilbert, Louis, or Gilbert Lewis. Um, they gotta have an injury. I gotta check that. Decent defensive core, all things considered. And Hellebuck, who is, he's 80 overall, but he's gonna have, he has cheese in veteran status. So yikes. Yeah, they're missing. Wait, they're missing a gold. Oh my god, they're missing their starter. Good for them, huh? What a happy mistake. And then a bunch of maybe they don't have a better defenseman than that dude. In, in weird. Okay. Well, this is a better better depth team, but I still think we we blow these guys out of the water. Here in the Western Conference Finals, home ass advantage once again. I actually didn't check all the stats because of all the injuries and stuff. Let's uh <laughs> do that real quick. 418. Oof, yeah, three. I don't like that. That needs to go back down. Power play is good. Penalty kill is still very good. So we're shutting we're we're incredible. Our special teams are great, but we yeah. I but to be fair, how are you gonna shut down McDavid and Dry Saddle, right? It just can't happen. We got we gotta sh try to shut down this team a bit better. All right, let's go. Yeah, I know I didn't check personal stats, but that'll it'll have to do. The team's performing well. We know that. Game one, six to three loss. That's not good. Game two, McIntosh battled through a minor injury. Jesus Christ, we lost both games. And we couldn't keep the puck out of the net. We couldn't score. Not good. Switching Huxley and Lawrence. Allowing goals and not keeping the puck out. God damn it, Kai Gordov. Please step it up. On the road here for game three. Now our offense won't get it done. Amazing. Amazing. We get swept. Shut out in game four. By an 80 overall goaltender. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> Can't even blame the fucking injury. I'm not I'm not gonna blame the injury. We 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 should win that. And we we choke once again. They had Hellbuck in the entire fucking time. What a joke of a game this is, man. Seriously, I, I don't care. 80 overall gold center just dominates. And I can't get a fucking X Factor at 87 to be consistent enough. So good. So he had, he had, yeah, he was great in the playoffs sometimes, and now he's absolute shit. He's been absolute trash starting from the Stanley Cup final last season. Awesome. Awesome. So once again, we fall short. The rental plan doesn't work. Rottenen is let down. I'm let down. The injuries, yeah, they didn't help. But you know what? We had. That's why we had the fucking depth. And we couldn't do jack squat against an 80 overall Hellebuck. God damn it. This sucks, man. I, I, I don't know what else to fucking do, man. I don't know what else to fucking do. I'm changing around the lines. I'm, I'm doing everything I can to try to make this work. <sighs> oh, well. Shit happens, so let's see what we can do next year. Next year's year 10, dude. We haven't won a cup, and it's going to be the final final year of basically what this franchise mode is, or at least uh, the challenge. <laughs> Of uh, trying to win more cups than Tactics and Tugi. And we haven't won a single fucking one. So the max we can get now is one. Amazing. Thanks a lot. Ugh. I don't, I, I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm running out of ideas. Running out of fucking ideas. <sighs> At least the Blues got eliminated. Can I get some solace? Did, did Bob Larson not do good? <laughs> oh, my God.
He didn't do great either. Let's be real. They got eliminated first round. Fuck, fuck man. What do I got to do? What do I have to do?